Hello children, it's Miss McNamara here and I'm going to be teaching you yellow group phonics. We will have four days of phonics children where we will do all the same activities that we do at school with a little bit of a twist. All you have to do is watch the video and take part in the my turn your turn just like you would at school. Of course with the video you can pause it at any time if you need to. So today is day one and this story is called Lost. Let's find out about the speed sounds. Let's look at this page. These are the consonants and we can see that there are three sounds that have been circled. These are the ones that you'll find in the story. Let's look together. We have the sound th or th. My turn, your turn. Ready? Th. Th. Or th. th. The next one, normally you find at the end of words. It's unk. Unk. My turn, your turn. Unk. Unk. Well done. Let's go down and here we have the sound t, t. But you will see that there's a double T. A double T. It still makes that sound t. My turn, your turn. T. T. Well done. Let's look at our next speed sounds page. The vowels. Well, I can see here that there's just one vowel circled. Do you know it? That's right. It's A. A, may I play? Your turn. These are special friends, children. A, may I play? While we're on this page, I'd like you to say the sounds in and out of order. Pause the video and have a go. See what you can remember. Let's look at the story green words. First children, I will say the words and I will read them in Fred's talk and then I will say the word. I'll then ask you to say it. At the end, I'd like you to do it all by yourself. Are we ready? Let's start with the top section. Here we have K, A, K. Your turn. We have W, E, S, T, West. K, West. Your turn. K, West is a character in the book. Let's look at the next two words. We have another name, er, a, ray. Your turn. B, er, u, k, s, brooks. Your turn. Ray Brooks. Ray Brooks is another character in the story. Here we have another one, j, a, j. Your turn. The next word says p u a m p plump. Your turn. Plump means round or fat. Next one. Ch e k check. Your turn. Two more on this line. Are we ready? Sh e d. S sheds your turn and the last one on this one we can see a may i play in there special friends s t r a stray your turn well done let's look at the next line h a hey your turn 
Ock. Shock. Your turn. Fond. Fond. Your turn. G -l -ad. Glad. Your turn. K -s. Kiss. Your turn. S -t -r -e -ng. String. Your turn. Now this one you can see there's a little star next to it. It's because the last sound makes the sound A. A bit like A my I play. Let's try it. G -r -a. G-R-A-Y. It's the colour grey. Your turn. Let's look at the next part of the story green words. We're now looking at the syllables. A syllable is like the beat of a word or part of a word. Let's look at the first one. We can read the whole syllable. There are two here. We read the whole syllable. So we've got viz and it. Put them together. Visit. Your turn. And the next one. The first syllable says cat. The second syllable says kin. Put them together. Cat kin. Well done. And the last one, we have three parts to the word, three syllables. Let's try. Mal a a Malaya. Well done. Let's now look at the third section of the story green words. For these ones, children, you have the root word first and then some letters that are suffixes that add to the word to make a new word. Let's look. So we have play and we add full onto it and it becomes playful. This time, p, r, a, pray, p, r, a, i, ng, praying. Your turn. Well done, everybody. Now, I'd like you to go through the story green words yourself. See how quickly you can do it. Off you go. This page is a vocabulary check. All of these words are in the story and we need to know what they mean so that when we read the story, we understand them. Are you ready? I talked about plump earlier. The first one says plump. It means fat. In the story, there's a very plump, playful, black cat. Can you picture the black cat in your mind? A plump one. The next word says sheds. Sheds are small buildings for storing things in gardens. In the story, there's a question. Will you check your sheds? Hmm, I wonder why they have to check sheds. The next word says stray. A stray is, means lost. In the story, it says, I've got a stray cat in my shed. And hay. We all know what hay is. Hay is dried long grass. In the story, she's sitting in a box of hay. Two left. The next one, we can see it's a capital M. That's because it's a country in the east. The country is called Malaya. In the story, it says, I am going on holiday to Malaya. And the last word, the last vocabulary check is fond. When you're fond of something, children, it means you like it. I am very fond of them. That could be me talking about my class. I am very fond of them. If you're unsure of any of the words, pause the video and take another look. Otherwise, we'll move on for the story introduction. Here we have the story introduction. Lost. Kay West lives at 24 Clayton Villas. One day she found a grey mouse hiding under her fridge. 
She tried to pick it up and put it outside, but it ran between her feet and disappeared under the sofa. I'll get a cat, she decided, to keep the mouse away. Kay went to the pet shop. There were big cats, small cats and cats of all different colours. She spotted a playful, plump black cat purring in the corner of the room. What's that one called? she asked the lady in the pet shop. Catkin, she told her. Catkin was just right. As soon as Kay brought Catkin home, the mouse went away. Kay and Catkin grew very fond of each other. Wherever Kay went, Catkin went too. If Kay was in the garden, Catkin followed. If Kay was in the kitchen, Catkin sat there too. When Kay was reading, Catkin would play with a bit of string at her feet. In the evenings, they cuddled together on the sofa and watched TV. Kay fed Catkin healthy food, but soon Catkin grew even plumper. Then, one afternoon, Kay came home and found the house empty. Where's Catkin? she wondered. Have a think, children. Where do you think Catkin could be? I'll see you tomorrow for day two, when we will start to read the story. Bye everyone. Well done.